Hey, what's up everyone? It's David here. Today's my last day of using fibre to the cabinet broadband and I'll be now using fibre to the house broadband. So what that basically means is in 2012, BT in my area allowed for 78 to 80 megabytes maximum broadband, but obviously guaranteed at 63 megabytes broadband that I would receive th those speeds to the property through uh, fibre to the cabinets and from the cabinet it would go to the traditional copper to the house how it's been since the phone line was installed all those many years ago but now BT has now installed in my area new fibre cables running through all underneath the street all the way to obviously the connection point of the brick wall outside my house and from there, they can run a fibre optic cable f connecting the house from the home uh, master socket all the way down to the actual street. So it'll be all fibre all the way across. And BT has offered me BT100, so that basically takes my broadband speed up to about averagely 40 megabytes more for free. And what this will enable me to do at a later date is to switch through the different packages with BT or other service providers and obviously um, get higher speeds, but the infrastructure will now be there for that to be possible. So obviously once this upgrade has taken place onto the premises, that means that you can obviously pay for higher broadband speeds because they're only restricting you for what service you're paying for. Whereas before the restriction was to do with the actual cable. So I'm just going to show you what the actual speed is currently. And this is obviously depicted through um, running through Wi-Fi to my iPad. But obviously the speed will be different once the actual install has taken place today. Okay, so that's 58 megabytes, point six, So just under 60 and 16.1, so just over 16 megabytes upload. So 58, megabyte, 58 megabytes download and 16 megabytes plus upload. Okay, so because this is wireless, I'm going to now run the exact same test, but this time on my... Apple TV box which is hardwired so I'll basically get the actual maximum speed of what the actual current connection can take but this is obviously showing you so I'm only really relatively receiving possibly 10 to 12 megabytes less than I would for a hard cable which isn't bad really when you consider that it's going through all the airwaves <laughs> so yep I'm gonna run it on my TV and then show you Okay, so I'm now running the speed test on my TV. So I'm going to press go. This is hardwired, so it doesn't seem to be a huge amount of difference on the actual speed itself, but the actual milliseconds seems to be quite a difference because that was 74 milliseconds. Okay, so we averagely we've got about two meg difference between the download and on the upload it's about just over one meg. So obviously not a huge amount of difference, but you can see relatively depending on how many people obviously on the internet 
at one given time obviously it affects your download and the upload on how many devices are actually using your um, connection so what I'm getting off my iPad isn't actually that bad considering but obviously I'm going to be running the tests again after the upgrade has taken place today and obviously we can run back those figures of what we got previously so I'm expecting to get almost 100 megabytes by the time well basically by the end of the day <laughs> um, and the upload I have no idea what they're guaranteeing on that it the, the guarantee um, that I normally get from my actual uh, router to, to statics is normally 20 megabytes so what I'm receiving is obviously f just under three megabytes less than what is stated and as for download at the moment for some reason it used to be um in the 70s but the bt has recently like lowered it down to like 63 megabytes so based on what i've getting on the thing i'm only two meg short on the download okay so we'll see you next clip this is my BT Smart Hub 2 and obviously this is currently running on the fibre to cabinet broadband and not the fibre to premises broadband so it's the house and obviously you've got the latest master socket 5C connected to the ADSL cable I'm not a fan of the flat cable so I changed to the, the round ones so that gives you a better connection from the wall socket to the um to the actual router itself um, because flat cables are known to have interference and all sorts and it's just a bit ridiculous when you think all of that planning goes to to um increasing your broadband speed nothing's a bit ridiculous when you go for all of that hassle of trying to increase your broadband speed no matter what you do you still end up being stuck to that flat cable so luckily enough now that they I used to crypt my own but now you can get them available on eBay or other places it's available uh, there's more than one place to shop and Amazon's not the only place so I suggest people start actually shopping elsewhere because you can get things cheaper if you just shop around. So I just had my BT fiber installed and I'm gonna be running a hardwired speed test on the connection to see how fast it is. So obviously you've seen the before and now we're gonna see the after. Okay, so that was, let's say that was 150 megabytes. And 28.7 upload. That's, that's really good actually. That's over double that what I used to have. Of course, I did used to have 80 meg, but somehow it started getting slower and slower. So, but the ping's pretty good, 2 milliseconds. And the uh, jitter is only 0 0.9 milliseconds. And there's no loss of signal. Okay, so, right, I'm now going to run the test on my iPad as I did before. Okay, so I'm running the speed test again on my iPad and we'll see what the results are. Obviously, they, they'll be lower than what's wired, but obviously we'll see how much lower <laughs> they will be.
Well, that's interesting. I got the exact same speed for download as I did through wired. So it's pretty impressive, really. The ping is three milliseconds. That's one millisecond more. The judder is obviously up as well by 1.3 milliseconds. Loss is about zero is the same. So all in all, that's pretty, pretty good, actually, for wires. Wireless. Yeah, seems to be no difference. Okay, so you can see there's a huge difference between my original 63 megabytes um, maximum download speed. Now, obviously, I've got almost <clears throat> almost 100 more. And 28 megabytes over megabytes. We're talking about 10 meg upload more as well, which obviously makes a difference when you're uploading YouTube videos like this. <laughs> so... I say less time spending uploading, more time actually. Hmm. Obviously, the only thing I can't speed up is YouTube's video processing methods. So, here's the changes that were made to my Smart Hub 2 for it to work with Firebird to the premises. As you can see, the modem there and the removal of the master socket 5c which was there so i've got to redecorate unfortunately um the green end connection white is the fiber cable you've got an rj45 that now connects the um to the smart hub too and um obviously the third one is the power so it has to have its own separate power so again you will go from having one box running off the main to two boxes at the point you can run it off of the USB on the smart hub too anyway if you buy an adapter. Fortunately, because the smart hub two doesn't have a WAN, you lose one of the Ethernet ports to it, so you only have three. But sky boxes only have two anyway, so you already got one more still than you would have with the skybox but um, obviously I'm not 100% chuffed with that anyway but because I'm using all four ports so obviously I have to connect a switch up which is going to be another annoying thing but I ran four to the box so because all the other connections then send off to switches in all various floors and then I run ethernet ports out through the wall um, ethernet jacks wall jacks and uh, that connects, so I get 100% of the connection. And I can then send signals around the house and to other computers and transfer files, uh, you know, almost lightning speed. Obviously not lightning speed, but you know, very fast. So uh, that concludes the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope this may have helped you if you were thinking about upgrading to BT Fiber and what it entails obviously redecorating as mine has fired but obviously this is not all obviously how it's connected at the moment permanently i was going to do a proper um, professional connection on the back and they were all going to be matching connections obviously because of my ocd <laughs> so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe bye for now